I'm just going to demonstrate how little grip these P0 courses have got in these conditions in this car. So everything's off. You wouldn't expect his foot to be aggressive. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that's just beautiful. Should we pull it up here and take a photo? Yeah, definitely. Hey guys, how's it going? This is my good friend Ash next to me. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Ash, some of you might recognize from my, uh, or from a M2 video that we shot together around November time last year. Um, he owns a lovely M140i Shadow Edition. Uh, I'll link that video below if you decide that you like him by the end of this video. Otherwise, obviously just don't watch it. I don't blame him if you don't, I talk funny, so. Yeah, he yeah. has got a funny accent. He's from New Zealand, um, but I'm sure, hopefully, most of you will understand what he's saying. Um, I'm in, we're in, the fantastic Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. It is currently two degrees outside, and this car is running on P0 courses. For those of you that aren't familiar with tires, the P0 courses are fantastic summer tires, but they only really operate in really warm temperatures. Um, they don't have much of a breadth of ability in that sense. Um, I'm just gonna put my hazards on while this guy goes past. Pirelli's equivalent of a um, Pilot Sport Cup 2 Michelin Exactly, tire. yeah, pretty so. much, pretty much. But whereas the Cup 2 seems to work seems to still do a reasonable job um, in anything but like saturated roads this one really just doesn't <laughs> it nah. just doesn't find any grip and in fact before we roll off i'm just going to demonstrate how little grip these tires have got in a little video clip we made earlier i'm just going to demonstrate how little grip these p0 courses have got in these conditions in this car so everything's off seen that so you kind of get the idea but still we're not going to let it ruin the review um, it was snowing heavy yesterday and the day before and honestly it was dangerous to try and drive this car at anything more than about walking pace so I'm just literally gonna spend five seven minutes behind the driver's seat talking about what I feel then we're gonna swap and Ash is gonna give his um, opinion on the car and uh, go unbiased there. Opinion, unbiased exactly yeah yeah it's always nice i think that's what a lot of you liked about the m2 video we did it was just nice hearing someone else's opinion i think we've got very similar tastes in cars and uh and we both like the same thing from cars but obviously it's just nice hearing it from someone else courses and extras and yeah 1.2 courses yeah. and a 52 plate um right so i'm currently i'm not going to go into too much detail about like the details and the spec and stuff. I did the first drive video that covers most of that, but I'm in race mode at the moment, which is, which is uh, for those of you that don't know, in the Alpha Giulia Quadrifoglio and the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, being in race mode basically means that you've got no traction control. So you put your foot down and it just, <laughs> it just, it just lights up. Um, but obviously you drive around that. We're both, you know, drivers, drivers, um, if that is such a thing. Yeah. Uh, so it is nice to sort of have that and work out where the grip levels are um, and, and sort of build from there. But we can't drive too fast because number one, we're on a public road. Number two, the conditions just don't suit this particular car very well at all with these tires on. Um, the Julia, as most of you know, it's, I mean, it's had rave reviews, you know, all across the press. Everyone goes on about how good it is. And for right reason, it is, Honestly, I've had this car for just under a week and I just absolutely love it. It's it's very very addictive. Um it's it's got it has got real soul and I know that's a bit of a cliche thing to say about an alpha, but it really has. Um it, it, there's it, it's so far removed from anything German in that sense. It's a it's got real character. Yes, the cabin, there's some nasty plastics in here. Uh, there's a few things that aren't that great, like the infotainment system and a few other bits and bobs, but really, you you forget about all of that so quickly because things like the driving position is very good, although this doesn't have the seats that you should spec with your Alfa Giulia Quadrifoglio, which are the carbon back, back uh, Sparco seats, definitely worth ticking. Um, I'm sitting maybe a bit high in this and even you, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a tu- the driving position is just a touch high, but I think we're a little bit spoiled with uh, having BMWs. The driving position is pretty good. It um, is. But it's not it's not like truck like like a you know a, a standard Recaro from a Focus RS or something. No, no, where you're, you're looking <laughs> down like you're driving <laughs> a bus. Yeah, it literally is. But things like the steering wheel. I mean, I, 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 I've. I've let a lot of people sit in the driver's seat of this and the first thing they remark on without even driving it is how nice the steering wheel is. It's yeah. close to perfection. The paddles, I wasn't a fan of fixed paddles. I've, you know, I've always grown up with cars that have got paddles on the wheel, but you get so used to these. When I had that Selvio Quadrifoglio, I absolutely loved these big alloy paddles. You know, they're, and, and you know where they are. You know, if you're fully crossed up, which tends to happen in this car quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know? Where am I? Yeah. Next gear. Like, yeah, I'm sideways. How do I recover? Pull another gear. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you just you know where the paddles are, and they're just lovely to feel. They're yeah. lovely to operate. There's a nice there's a nice click when you go down, yeah. um, and it's very Ferrari. Mm, and talking very. of Ferrari, this car is pretty much. I mean, it's you know, although Ferrari won't admit it. Um, that you know, it's the same company, the same umbrella, and there's a lot of Ferrari under the bonnet. There's a lot of Ferrari in the suspension. It shares a lot, and there's a there's a lot of lightweight technology. There's a lot of carbon fiber panels, including the beautiful bonnet, and you really feel it because I think this car's curb weight is about 1,500 kilos, which is a hundred kilos like the my M2 competition. Yet this is a comfortable four-seater. It's, it's, it's a big saloon car, like you know, it's like a super saloon car. That's it, the way I see it. It really is, you know? isn't it? Um, yeah. M3 equivalent. Yep. Um, and you know they're big cars, but considering that it's around about the same weight as like a BMW M140i, for example. Yes. Um, it's mental. I yeah. mean, but you look around and there's carbon fibre everywhere, and you start to understand. Yeah, where, where the weights. Yeah, where, where they've saved it. Uh, so you are really, I mean these are 60 odd grand, I think they're 61 or 62 on the on the road base price, uh, which is a lot of money, but when you actually look at the sum of parts that you're getting, the, you know, the beautiful carbon, not just details, but the carbon panels and the bonnet and things like that, um, yeah. and then you just drive it for literally two minutes, you, you immediately realize and start to realize where the money's going. Um, I think we'll just wait for this Mercedes just to go a little bit because so far I've been driving like a granny. Let's just roll off. In terms of driving dynamics, I think this is very, very close to perfection. It's, it's very hard to utilize and feel the the technology that's in this car in conditions like these where you can't load it up and I'm lucky to have driven one a couple of years ago in in Italy in 30 degrees on the same tires you know dry and that's when you really start to see its true potential um, but you still get a little feel of what's special and, and what's you know what's underneath the skin of this car it just the way it just the way when you come onto the brakes it just hunkers down it's just so Oh, there's our mate. He's What's pulled, he doing? He's pulled over. Yeah. Thinks he's having a sleep. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone in for a pit stop. It's just so nice. It really is. When you, there's just something about the way it controls its weight, and there's not loads of weight as we talked about, but there's just something about the way it controls its weight. It's just so good. It's so composed through here, and this is a rough road, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so composed. Another road closed. Was it closed that way? Oh, I know, that's just saying road closed yeah. because of... But anyway, my time in the seat is almost over. <laughs> um, but I just wanna, yeah, I mean, there's nothing new to say about this car. It's, like I said, there's some things you lose in here that you do get in German cars, but it's just an incredible car. When you're pushing on, it's an incredible car. When you knock it back into normal, it's a very quiet, it's a completely different car, just like the Stelvio was. Real Jekyll and Hyde, it just goes quiet, and eighth gear is really high, so good economy. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really impressive bit of kit. I'm now gonna let Mr. Ash get behind the wheel. The tires are like Skipping along the yeah. surface as it's very cold. Right, we'll just do a little swap tease and let's hear what this let's hear what this dude's got to say because I've just talked enough shit. <laughs> steering wheel feels 
awesome nice bit of Alcantara carbon fiber um, nice and thin yep it just yeah it feels like you know straight away it says driver's car um, obviously I had a few minutes to drive the car up on the way up here at the M25 and cruising along very comfortable um, let's see what it's got eh? really thrusts you when you're in the passenger seat, eh? Like you said, Joe, the brakes. It's almost like you get on the brakes and the whole car adjusts itself perfectly as soon as you press the pedal. It does feel like there's some yeah. kind of electronics like yeah, doing yeah. something with the chassis when it's, you're on the brakes. Yeah, it's um, it, it's almost like an ever so slight tilt rather than a, a wallow, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You expect all that mass to just yeah, to transition, but it... Like that. Well, with the tiny little paddles you know yeah um, as, as great as they are these things are fully CNC machine yeah bill of aluminium like, yep you know it's top quality car what you pay for this car you see you sit in the driver's seat underneath the bonnet you can just see the, the raw carbon fiber and it's yep. just like yeah my money has been spent well and, and at 60 grand I mean there's cars out there for 60 grand that you don't really get a lot no you know this thing isn't, yeah, I'm, you know, the time we've seen in it, I'm already sold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not a, uh, a back B road uh, English village car, I'll give it that. But no. It's certainly a, um, a sunny day um, Italian stormer. You can imagine, that's what, like, you could only imagine, couldn't you, what, what this thing would be like. Even on a track, like, I think on a track day, was, this thing would be savage on oh, a track day. It would be unbelievable. Um, it would, I feel as though it would really come into its own. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I truly do. It feels like, you know, even driving it here, um, I was like, man, I just want some twisty roads. I want something to, for this thing to really just you know get lively because it's that sort of car it's the sort of car you get into a lot of trouble very very quickly yeah but as drivers that's what we want isn't it absolutely it's just naughty oh, it's so fast Box, the way it changes down, the way it changes up. <laughs> it's a really clever diff in there, though, as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's it doesn't. Yes, it's loose, and yeah. yes, you'd expect a car of 500 and whatever brake horsepower to to skid out, but it actually does it very controllably. You yeah. Know? It's not. You know, I, I wouldn't lend it to your auntie in the rain. No. Put it that way, but. At the same time, it's very, very controllable. Yeah. Um, as far as from a driver's point of view, Pro like you said, it's very progressive. It shouldn't be progressive mm. on these tyres. The last thing you would expect, or that you wouldn't expect, is for it to be progressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've actually got to go and find a petrol station at some point. We do. We've been on zero for a while now. I tell you what, but all in all, um, it doesn't feel huge when you're driving it. It feels like it shrinks around. It's one of those cars that's a big car, but when you get in it, it, it shrinks around you and you go, you know what, this is very driver focused. Yep. It doesn't feel like you're driving a barge. No. Um, you know, you know, I know sideways Sid wouldn't enjoy that, but no. <laughs> yeah, he, lo he loves his barge. Yeah. Wow, look at that for a shot. Wow. Oh, that's just beautiful. Should we put it up here and take a photo? Yeah, definitely. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's very random review. Um, you, I hope you understand. I, I had it scheduled in to, to shoot tomorrow, which is Sunday, but tomorrow is meant to be snow and minus three all day, and it just 
it, it's it's impossible. Um, so hopefully I'll revisit this car in the summer months and do a proper review of it. But unfortunately, I just you know today was about the best we could come up with um, in the time and yes. the weather that we had. But yeah, very impressed. Um, well done, Alfa Romeo. I mean hats off to you it's such yeah. a good car isn't I it i love it and you can see why it. the people like you understand why everyone's going nuts about it yeah like the chris harris and everyone was just like god this thing's amazing there was a bit of build up around it but it's it's totally blown the expectation of it yeah you know? yeah quality the drive yeah the comfortableness like you could have your family in it yeah and it's got oodles of power yeah it's comfortable and it's a driver's car it is but mm. but buy the bucket seats Get one with the yeah. proper seats. These aren't these aren't bad. Not bad, but if you're spending the money, yeah, it just brings the interior because there's some bits of the interior that are lovely, other bits that aren't that amazing. But with the buckets in here, they're like the, they're the centre of attention then. Um, and a bucket with that, you're like it's like a four door race car. Yeah, proper. It really is. Proper. Anyway, guys, uh, please make sure you check out Ash's Instagram, which will be in the description below. Um, feel free to give them any abuse on that and uh yeah give it give us a thumbs up and, yeah. and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already uh leave any other comments and stuff below cool thanks, thanks ash easy now easy now bruv <laughs>